Emily Cohn released an article that just rips the red states in the South. It's titled, These Maps Should Absolutely Outrage Southerners. And let's go through a couple of them here. They're eye-opening. This is the poverty map. The redder the color, the higher the poverty rate. So as you can see, the South is way up there. Okay? Let's go to the next one. This is economic mobility. Again, the redder, the worse the mobility is. The South is doing terribly. All right, now let's go to the next one. This is uh, affordable health care. The white areas, it's more expensive for health care. So again, as you see, the South and the Midwest are doing way worse. Health care is way more expensive in those places. All right, now let's move on to the obesity map. The redder, the worse. You, by and large, see a similar thing here, the same thing here. All right, now let's move on to the teen birth one. All right, the bluer, the worse. Again, no surprise, the places in the South that are anti, uh, you know, Planned Parenthood, anti-sex education, anti-reproductive rights, anti-condom, anti-the pill. Yeah, those are the places that have a higher teen birth rate. That should surprise absolutely no one, but of course the idiots are going to be surprised by that. And then here's maybe even the most devastating one, the happiness chart. Red is least happy. So as you can see there, Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi. Kentucky, Tennessee, etc. Those are all the least happy. Now, I should also note that uh, all these maps were made based off of official statistics. So this isn't like they didn't go to like Daily Coast and pull statistics from there or some sort of far left website. So it's kind of insane, isn't it? Now, I remember distinctly, it wasn't that long ago, Bill O'Reilly had one of my college professors on his show. I think it was actually the head of the department. Uh, and he was berating her. And she's not even like some sort of far left person. She's like a moderate person, probably just moderate left winger, right? I'm, I'm certainly to the left of her, and I don't think I'm far left. I think I'm rather moderate. And um, he basically said in the middle of a rant, like, Detroit, who runs Detroit? Get Democrats, right? And she's like, yeah. He's like, see, what happens when there's Democrats in charge? You see, the place has gone to shit. It's bankrupt. It's terrible. Nobody wants to be there. It's violence and everything. Looks like a third world nation. And she was caught off guard and she didn't have a good response to it. Well, here's your response to that. And also what Bill O'Reilly's point was hideous because here's the reality about Detroit. The reason why it's in such shitty shape is NAFTA. It's NAFTA and GATT and the WTO and all of the so-called free trade agreements that were really outsourcing agreements that took good middle-class jobs in the car industry and shipped them overseas. So it was right-wing trade policies that fucked over Detroit. It was Republican ideas that fucked over Detroit. Doesn't matter who was in control afterwards. The nail was in the coffin after they passed all those free trade deals. And this is more evidence. Apparently, the more Republican your state is, the more horrible you do. The more horrible. Yeah, good grammar, Kyle. The worse you do in all these different uh, areas. And by the way, just to give even more proof, think of uh, Europe. What are, and not just Europe. Think about the world, period. What places in the world have uh, the highest per capita income, the happiest people, um, strongest middle class, best health care? I mean, just across the board, better statistics. Scandinavian region. Scandinavian region, you know, Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Sweden, Finland, Greenland, those places are uniformly dismissed as too progressive socialists. The Republicans here call them socialists. They're not. They're social democracies. There's a difference. But that they have the best outcomes. So this is all the evidence you need as to if you want to live in a happy, healthy, smart place, what should you do? Go left or go right? 